Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. We're back with our Pro Tools uh, tutorial videos and today we're going to learn how to use the identify beat function included in Pro Tools. The identify beat function is another of the event operations that you can apply and you're going to find this especially useful when you get tracks uh, that don't necessarily have uh, a tempo that they've told you in advance. So like if they sent you an audio track and they don't know the exact tempo of the track, uh, they don't have that information, but you still want your click to be uh, synchronized to this, you might find it useful to use the identify beat function. So for example, here uh, we have a, a kick track. Okay, so as you can see, I got one, two, three, four kick drum hits. And honestly, I have my, you know, my, my click is right now set to 90 BPMs. And as you can see, that doesn't line up like the grit marks do not line up um, with the kick hits. So, you know, you have two options. You could literally just double click here and just start typing, you know, numbers or just tapping the tempo in order to follow that. But that could take you a little time sometimes, you know, and it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly aligned because this kick could have been recorded by a person. Maybe, I mean, maybe it is a program kick drum and maybe you can find the exact tempo, uh, but chances are if it was recorded, it won't be perfect. So even if you set a tempo that, that is very close, it might, um, uh, I guess, unsync at some point later on in the timeline. So that's when you use the identify beat option. So um, I'm gonna assume that these four kick hits are supposed to be one hit for each quarter note meaning that if we are on bar one, this should be, the first kick should be bar one, beat one, then the second should be bar one, beat two, then bar one, beat three, and bar one, beat four. Okay, so we have one measure of kick drums, just, you know, four on the floor. So how do we do that? Um, uh, if you see right now, uh, I have this audio clip, and it's already aligned to the start. So we can basically say that that first kick it's already uh, bar one, beat one. So now we wanna make sure that after that, everything lines up, because the first one is already lined up. We just dragged the, ki the clip all the way to the left, and we made sure there was no information before that, okay? So that's good. Now, bar one, beat two, which is the second kick, how do we m tell Pro Tools, hey, this is bar one, beat two, I want you to set it up there and realign the tempo or modify it accordingly. Well, it's very simple. Um, one thing you can do, you can go on slip mode and then just click where that second kick is, or even better, you can just m make sure that you are, you have your uh, tap to transients function on, and if you simply press the tab key, it'll automatically snap to the next transient, which in this case is this kick drum here. So here's where, where we're going to be using the identify beat um, function. So we're going to go event, identify beat. And the add, be, uh, uh, add bar beat marker, that's the identify beat function, if that's gonna pop up, okay? You're gonna see that window. So what we're gonna tell Pro Tools here is, hey, this place, this exact location should be bar one, beat one, and then tick zero. Sorry, bar one, beat two, tick zero, and then the time signature is four by four. So we're forcing the click to line up to this location and make it bar one, beat two. So that's exactly the second quarter note. Um, and we're also telling it, hey, this is a four by four time signature. We're gonna press okay. And as you can see, there's that blue uh, arrow there. Now check what happened. The tempo changed. Now it says 165.25. That means that it calculated the distance from here to here. And it said, well, if this was, you know, bar one beat one, and, and if this is bar one beat two, then the tempo that, that's gonna line up with that at a four four time signature has to be 165.2511. So now we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna tab again to the next one. As you can see, um, my location is now there, right, on that third beat, and we're gonna go back to event, identify beat, and we're gonna do the same thing. Hey, this location is supposed to be measure one, beat three, and then tick zero. 
So it's exactly measure one beat three. Once again, four by four times signature, press OK, and check what happened. So now there's another tempo here. Why? Because it's, it's calculating. Well, from here to here, from the first to the second, you know, the distance between those two hits uh, makes it so that the tempo would have been 165.25. Uh, but then from the second to the third makes it so that the tempo would have been 164.88. And then we're going to repeat the process with the very last one. Identify beats. So that should be beat one. Uh, sorry, uh, measure one, beat four, tick zero, four by four. And check what happened. So now we have identified every single beat. And as you can see, my uh, bars and beat ruler now lines up. So you got that second hit here. And you can see it says measure one beat two, and then this third one here, measure one beat three, and then this fourth one here, measure one beat four. So the cool thing about this is not just the fact that you're lining up the bars and beats um, ruler, but also the tempo is getting synced to the exactly that um, performance. Now, this is something that you could do. You don't have to do it on every single beat, but if you get some kind of audio program or audio material that is not... Um, or that doesn't have a click assigned to it or, or whoever sends you doesn't know the exact tempo, you can use this and do it maybe every other bar, maybe every four bars and create your tempo um, your, or your, your, your tempo ruler according to that. So in theory, if I press play, okay, oh, my click, let's make it louder. There it is. So if I press play, you're going to hear that the click and the kick, they both sound at the exact same place. And here we go. You hear that? One, two, three, four. And that's how you use the identify beat option in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.